hormone balancing. This term is a surefire way to know that you're not dealing with endocrinology because endocrinologists speak very specifically about what hormone in what conversation is not appropriate. You have over 50 hormones in your body. They all do very specific things. Sometimes they attach to same receptors as others. Sometimes structurally, they're very similar. They cross-react. But this concept of just general hormone imbalance is not correct. These conversations that happen, whether that's the pituitary to the adrenals, the pituitary to the ovaries, the parathyroid with blood calcium levels, thyroid and pituitary, what have you, they are all very tightly regulated. And sometimes you can have difficulty in making diagnoses because even our best tests might not be very sensitive or specific. And that's why you can't just diagnose Cushing syndrome off of a one-time morning cortisol. It's a stepwise process that has to be confirmed because these are conversations that are very, very sensitive and there's side chain reactions and backdoor reactions and cross reactions and things that you have to make sure you're measuring the right thing at the right time of day. So if someone's told you you have a hormone imbalance the first question you should ask is, which one? Because once they give you an answer about that, then you can talk with endocrinology about, well, how do we deal with it? Does it mean there's a tumor that's causing a problem? Sometimes there's tumors in the pituitary gland that either make hormone they shouldn't be making, or there's a tumor up there not making anything, but it's big enough that it's squishing down on the cells that are trying to make hormone and they can't do it. So what's the treatment? Is to get rid of the tumor. And then we hope that that conversation returns to normal. Um, if someone has Cushing syndrome, for example, they are overproducing cortisol. This is a pathology. This is a conversation where maybe the adrenal gland is ignoring the cues to stop making extra cortisol. So what do we do about it? We need to go find the source and pluck out the problem. That's how you handle hormone imbalances. They, they're very specific. There's no such thing as just vague generalized hormone imbalances. And you deserve to be assessed, diagnosed, managed by someone who's well-versed in all of the subtleties about these imbalances.